kid, if they come home and they can take it, cause us or release it in the habits, they have another team to support them just to deal with that specific thing.
speaker is Dr. Todd Williams. Please step up. Tess Hernandez Cano. Followed by Joe Cano.
Unfortunately, the supply dried up just November 1. So a lot of senior citizen centers, including this one, wanted them for the holiday celebrations, but they couldn't get them. So you might say, I'm kind of concerned now. Why not? Why can't they give us more? I've asked for 2,000 or more because there's a lot of senior citizen centers and the libraries. The libraries came up with it. Give each one to a child who comes to the children's hour. Oh, innovative. Rather than one by one by one by one, giving out to us. So there are other ways. There's a Public Records Act request for all correspondence, all documents regarding this poor little bag from the Board of Public Works. So I will be giving you an update later on. Then there's the Soda Street Bridge. And we don't know what's happening. Does anyone, has anyone ever called the telephone number for information? The water and power started to stop it. Forget about water and power. That number is for the Office of Public Affairs in the Board of Public Works, Bureau of Engineering. They now don't want to talk with us at all. But thank God they didn't do what they were planning on doing during the holidays. Thank but you. we don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Maria Gonzalez, Francisco Gomez, followed by Rob de la Fuente. Is Rob here? If you would please support that uh, uh, motion that before you guys, I used to live in Orange, but I now reside locally. For the past 13 years, I have children that go to the rec center right here at El Sereno. Uh, at first, it didn't come to my attention, uh, this consideration, but now that I'm aware that there is need for this fence to be raised or there are safety concerns, I would ask that you guys support this once again before there's a death, and perhaps also considering putting in a stoplight somewhere nearby, and that I ask for you guys to support that item. That's it. Uh, thank you guys. And uh, if you guys have a question, feel free to ask. Uh, if you know what I'm
kids, they get so happy to see the ball. They want to participate. They run into the street to try to get the ball to give it back to the game. Exactly. I've seen close calls because the kids don't understand the danger. children. As a matter of fact, I have only girls, he says. And uh, they play at the recreation center. And he's been made aware that the fence is a little low. And he's seen at times that some people, patrons at the park, jump over the fence and he feels that it's dangerous because they can get themselves jabbed or stuck on the little picker. I'm going to call them a picker. I don't know what to call it. From the fence. So that's uh, his first thing. Yes, que se levantan los niños y están jugando ahí, se van a otros niños, yo he ido porque los niños fácilmente se trincan en el cerco y quieren cruzar para la pelota. I have been out there and personally myself I have retrieved some of these balls because when my children are out there playing at the park, uh, for their safety he wishes that they don't go to the park, or, excuse me, to the street to retrieve the ball. So he has done it himself personally and he feels this is concerned because he has also witnessed that the balls do go to the street. Yeah, 
cualquier día de esto lo vamos a lamentar de que un carro vaya a golpear un niño porque los carros pasan bastante rápido. Uh, I'd like to ask that, uh, that you guys do consider this because there's some, there may be someday in the future where a tragedy could occur because of the safety concerns if a child is chasing the ball into the street. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Get my 
a ball back and getting back to practice. And we need that fence to be raised because it is not uh, me and probably every other kid that goes to Hell's is going to keep jumping that fence, running into the screen. But besides also the fence being raised, um, another issue that another gentleman addressed also needs to be addressed is the fact that there should probably be a traffic light so that we can cross the street safely instead of just trying to look both ways and hoping and praying that a car doesn't show up coming like 60 miles per hour. So that stoplight or some type of traffic light should be put in place and that fence should be raised, especially for those softball pitchers that can't find the diamond because all of them are being taken over by taxes and they need to find some market. Thank you. Thank you. spoken already very clearly and loudly and eloquently and they came here for this issue and it'd be sad if you go through the whole agenda and the time runs out and you don't even get to this issue. I would encourage you to make a motion to put this up earlier so that we can hear that some of us have to leave and have other activities. I would encourage you to put this issue up and so many people came for this one issue. Move it up to higher up on the agenda, please.
those affiliated with this new definition. Okay? The other uh, news is, um, so for elections, um, I just wanted to remind you all that elections are, are obviously coming up. So for your elections committee and or any other board member or stakeholder that may have any questions about elections, you can contact our elections team at elections at empowerla.org. Or you can call 818-993-VOTE. Sure. The email is elections at empowerla.org. And the phone number is 818-293-VOTE. Both of these, both of these um, are actually staffed by various folks on the elections team, so you should be receiving a response if, you know, if, if someone's not there. Right away. <coughs> the other thing that I wanted to ask you is to please um, have someone on your board go onto our website where we have your bylaws, your map, and your roster, and double check to make sure that it's all up to date. If it is not, if there is a change that has to happen, you can change. You can email it to uh, rosters at empowerla.org. Make sure you CC me just so I know that the change is being requested. And lastly, before the holidays, I sent you all an email introducing Mr. Jay Handel, um, who is going to be your independent.